just start going like a mile a minute um, so today I kind of did all right well I got up and I had um, oatmeal I did a cup of still oats let me turn this back around um, I did a cup of still oats and then I put um, a little bit of the maple syrup in it and um, some like six nuts that I chopped up um, I put that stuff on my Instagram if you're ever interested be just because it's easier for me to post pictures there sometimes and then um, for a snack, I had a shake. And then for lunch, I'm having a shake right here um, that my husband made for me before he came and picked me up. Um, I got something going on with my hormones. And so normally when I take my birth control, it's supposed to regulate my hormones. And every so often when I start losing weight, my hormones go back out of whack and they have to readjust the dosage or put me on something different. Um, so on Tuesday, I will be going to the doctors. I made an appointment because I've been having really, really bad like cramps. I can't explain this. It's not, and this isn't time of the month cramps. This is kind of like, I don't know, sharp pains. And it just kind of concerns me because I have a um, history of cysts. I had like a really poor attitude. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm usually more positive and stuff, but I, like, we went grocery shopping and it was killing me to be around a bunch of people. And people were rude to me, but I was like wanting to bite people's heads off. Part of it is because I am kind of an introvert and so when I do go out in public, I'm out of my comfort zone, but the other part of it is my hormones. And so when my hormones are out of, mat, out of whack, it makes it 10 times worse. Um, I have Hashimoto's and I was told that eventually I'm gonna have to be put on hormones. No one's ever really said anything to me after that about it. I do not I do know eventually I need to go back and get checked again to see if that's still even a diagnosis for me or what's going on, but I just kind of feel out of sorts. So hopefully getting my hair done <laughs> will make me feel a little bit better. And then, I don't know, but just wanted to let you guys know about that. More snow than we have. Okay, so the hair is freshened up. I got a little bit of stain going on. Should probably take a little bit of my eyebrow, but ooh, that, <laughs> but. I feel better and then my hair is a little bit shorter. I brought it up some. the hill at work I work up that way and there's like a big old slope so we're gonna try to make it up that way and see if we actually make it and we don't slide back
So now the snow's cleared up a little bit on the road, but this is the hill that we have to come up. So earlier today, this is the struggle. And it's pretty steep, it's long, but it's steep. But over to the side, like you can't see because it's covered by snow, it's literally just rocked and then it drops off. So that's what always scares me when we're coming up this way. Hopefully you guys can see me. I'm in the living room, the lights are gonna be a little bit funky. I know the TV's behind me, a little distracting. Um, but the reason why I wanted to jump on here is because I'm trying to vlog a little bit more. I wanted to be truthful and I wanted to be honest. And for the past three days, I think it's been three days, I have not worked out. A couple days ago, I went off track on my meal plan and it was a peanut butter sandwich. But the next day, that led to some binge eating. So yesterday, not only did I go to Carl's Jr. and have a hamburger and shared some fries with my husband, but then afterwards I went to McDonald's so that I could get some chicken nuggets because I was craving chicken nuggets. But also too, I'm struggling because I have PCOS. My birth control is what regulates my hormones and this past week has just been like off the hook with mood swings and food cravings and it's just bad. Um, I have an appointment coming up this Tuesday so that we can see about switching my birth control or what needs to be done. I have just been such an emotional like I don't want to say wreck but just so emotional like the past few days it's like one minute I'm like up and then the next minute I'm down. And Saturday's weigh in I probably jacked up but I'm gonna try to not let that get me down part of the reason I do know that was a focus that was on my mind a lot was I got a message from someone that I used to go to high school with her sister messaged me and basically said that um, she was still using um, and I guess was really really bad back into drugs I don't talk about this much but when I was a teenager and up until my early 20s, um, I abused drugs. I did it because I didn't want to fill the things that were going on in my life. And unfortunately, and unfortunately, the friends I made, as much as I love them, the one thing that brought us together was kind of our dysfunction and our hurt and our longing just to belong. So it just brought back up a lot of stuff, kind of brought up emotions because I would like to think that we're not, that we're still not those, you know, 15, 16, 17 year old kids <sighs> struggling to find ourselves. So to hear this as, you know, an adult and I find that one of them, one of my friends is still struggling and is still just lost. I just kind of feel helpless because when we all met I thought I was the one who had the most baggage and all these emotions that I never knew what to do with and even though we did things that we weren't supposed to do we still kind of always stayed connected because of those things but because we've kind of moved past them so the past couple days it's just you know been a lot because I feel I feel worried I feel concerned I feel bad and I'm states away and sometimes I'm like what does it take for someone to hit rock bottom and then it just made me feel like that about weight loss and other stuff like what does it take for someone to just finally say I can't do this anymore I don't want to do this anymore only thing I can say is I need to continue to move forward um, but she's gonna be on my mind so I'm gonna go ahead and finish my my pre-workout <laughs> I'm gonna try to get back into the swing and flow of things and not let so much emotion kind of overtake me so enough rambling let me get into my workout I kind of wanted to try to show you guys my um 
Simply Fit board today and some other exercises that are in the exercise that I do with that. Just in case I forget, I will see you guys Saturday on my way in. Lord Jesus, help me with whatever it is. And then Monday, I will be starting my self love Mondays, which I totally, totally need right now. Just so totally need. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. This is what I have for the next couple of days because this is where I kind of think I faltered a little bit too because I wasn't pre planned like I'm supposed to be. These are my salmon fillets, and I just put the um, Asian seasoning on them that we bought. And then my snack for the next couple of days is going to be it's Faye yogurt with one tablespoon of honey and then six almonds chopped up. And it looks like kind of a lot, surprisingly. It tastes really, really good. And then I have some shrimp right here that once the salmon is done, I'm going to toss into the oven with some um, onion and bell peppers. And then I'm going to have these tomorrow or for the next couple of days too for a lunch with some little mini tortillas. And then these are the almonds that I've been using, the whole natural almonds. I'll be honest, they taste like poo-poo. <laughs> they don't have a taste. And they taste kind of dry and they have like kind of a dry texture. But they work for what I need it for. Honey that I use that's raw and unfiltered honey is local Utah honey and it is LR Rice. This stuff is amaze balls and look at that color. Ooh. My table is like a little random mess right now. So these are the bell peppers I'm going to use for when I do the um, shrimp fajitas. Um, zucchini I think I'm going to do with my salmon. And then right here I have a quarter cup of the jazz. Sorry. And right here I have a quarter cup of the jasmine brown rice. And I have two servings of that. 
So I cut up three zucchinis so that way my husband can have some too and then I'll have some for the next couple of days so I have to have like a cup of it and I just did basic um, salt and pepper on it. I hate that I say um, 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 <laughs> um basics basic salt and pepper on it and then I'm going to go ahead and roast these and then I will do my veggies and hopefully get this done soon enough. So this is the bell pepper and the onion that I put a little bit of um, my olive oil spray on. I do two sprays, one at the bottom of the pan and the one on top so this stuff, so the seasoning stick to it. It's just salt pepper and then Mrs. Ja Mrs. Dash jalapeno because I want something spicy but I didn't want to add any more salt to it than I already have so I'm going to pop this into the oven and then right before this is done or when these are getting to where I want them I'm going to go ahead and put the shrimp on top to bake the rest of the way with these. So my fajita, my shrimp fajitas are done and if I inputted everything right into my fitness pal and scanned everything um, this should only be three servings because the shrimp it's like for four ounces you get like 12 a piece or something like that it said that on the package um but it should only be like 194 calories per serving plus then we get to add our little tortillas to it so this is the salmon and the zucchini and then i would open these <laughs> but i it, it was hard to even get these closed my mom had to do it it's um shrimp fajitas in there if you could see that 